Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Today we're talking about the movie Hitman Agent 47. And I'm going to start right up front and tell you that I never saw Hitman Agent 1 through 46, but if they were anything like this, I don't think I missed much. To call this adaptation of a video game a mess would be to show it too much respect. It's barely even a movie. The plot doesn't even make an effort to make sense. The actors seem like they were dragged to the set against their will, and the action scenes, which should be the saving grace of these low-budget action movies, it's what makes them guilty pleasures, they just fall limp. I mean, this complicated, acrobatic gun fu I think I pinpointed the moment when it stopped being hip and became boring, and that's between the second and third Matrix movies. If the action in this movie isn't fun to watch, then it goes from trashy fun to, well, just trash. All right, let's get in depth as I'm gonna get with this cinematic turd. Now, I'm gonna do something different here. I'm gonna tell you up front the one virtue of this movie. It has some really interesting looking locations. A good chunk of this film takes place in Singapore, and the film makes use of the bizarrely futuristic, otherworldly architecture of that city-state to add some much-needed visual panache on a low budget. Now, I was shocked at first to learn that the city that appears in this movie was not augmented by CGI, and that these weird buildings and settings actually do exist. So for the rest of this review, I'm going to just show you some of the real-life settings that appear in the movie Hitman Agent 47 so that you really have no reason to see this movie. Here you go! And you're welcome. Okay, let's see if we can't get distracted by some beauty while we muddle through this. The plot of this movie is so inconsequential that I won't even list it here. I'll just skim through all the elements you've seen in other better movies. Blah blah, genetically altered, perfect assassin, blah blah, genetically altered psychic, blah blah, shadowy secret organization, blah, missing daddy issues, blah blah, one person holds the key, blah blah, heartless killer grows a heart, slash, finds a cause, slash, can't decide which accent to speak with, blah blah blah. Now I know what you're asking. The plot may be indecipherable, but at least the action scenes are great, right? Well, what if they're flat, edited to the point where they're barely coherent or just boring? There's one scene in this movie based on the video game where you just follow the hitman as he casually shoots one guy, then turns and shoots another, then walks down some stairs, turns around and shoots two more guys. His face never changes, no bad guys even get a shot off. It's like watching someone else play a video game. Boom, 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 boom. As someone who has watched someone play a video game for free, I can tell you it's not an experience worth paying for. And when the action's not boring, it's just laughable. A stunt or an action scene, it can be preposterous, that's okay, if it's cool and if all the characters know that it's preposterous. Like the Mission Impossible clip, we'll show it here, where Tom Cruise holds onto that plane with his bare hands. All of the characters acknowledge that what they're seeing is, well, it's impossible. Oh my god! Now how about this scene, where the hitman straps the heroine to a chair that's sitting in front of a jet engine because he knows that deep down inside she's a trained badass and in a moment of crisis it'll all just come back to her and she'll escape safely in the nick of time before she gets splattered to death. Now that's just stupid. I can't tell you how many times during Hitman Agent 47 that I muttered to myself, wow, this movie's so stupid. But hey, there've gotta be cool car chases, right? I saw those in the trailer. Well, here they are, here's an example. A car chase with zero suspense, shot like it's a car commercial. I mean, look at this. They frame the car for maximum shininess and sexiness. So much so that when the car is shot by multiple bullets, or drives through a window, there is no damage, no bullet holes, not a scratch on the paint job. If you're gonna be that silly, then be silly and go for it. But this movie is just humorless, joyless, 
and it takes itself too seriously to be fun. And I think you probably noticed Zachary Quinto in that last clip. What is he doing in this thing? How about Rupert Friend, the, who plays the hitman? And he plays a haunted Jason Bourne type on Homeland, and he does it really well. What's he doing? Ciaran Hines, what's he doing in this movie? And even Jurgen Prock now pops up for one scene cameo. Nobody gives these people anything but dreck to work with. Now, here's Hannah Ware. She's a gorgeous actress that I've never seen before, but she has great screen presence, and she's strong, and she's toned, and she's got physical action prowess. She deserves a better movie, too. Character motivations in this movie don't make any sense. Plot revelations are just tossed out like unwanted playing cards and then forgotten. It's just a nothing movie. It contains zero enjoyment. I give it an empty bag of popcorn. Avoid Hitman Agent 47. It has some really pretty things to look at. But here, I just gave them to you for free. Oh, oh wait, not all of them. Okay, now I've given you all the pretty things in this movie for free. You are welcome. All right, that does it for Movies That Pop. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel to indicate that you like us and you want us to keep going. We've got more reviews coming up of all the latest movies, so keep checking back. Click the thumbs up to indicate whenever you like something you saw. And stay tuned. Until next time, I'm the Colonel, and I am taking out the trash.